Hello everybody and welcome uh, this time to Toggle, created by Oblivious Owl and recommended by Matt Chu. So a very big thank you to the both of them. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. We are for once in a very long time playing a classic Portal 2 aesthetic map. I felt like we hadn't played one of them in a while because, well, mainly we, we haven't actually played one of those in a while. So it was long overdue. I did say a while ago that I was going to try and mix in, you know, more of these classic aesthetic type maps but uh well anything i say a long time ago now sort of just easily falls into the easily forgotten category because i've realized how old i am lately um enough about that what can we actually do in here we've got a bunch of panels that appear to be on moving tracks some of them have lasers adjacent to them and some of them have mesh are they for the sake of checking if this is a friday map are they classic panels they are classic panels, there's no nonsense shenaniganry going on with them, they only accept portals in their stationary positions. Some of those stationary positions appear to involve mesh. Great big bit of fizzler in the middle of the room. Uh, another button with a similar sort of setup here, similar with mesh as well. No, it's the opposite this side, but you do also have a button for moving panel purposes. Accidentally solve some of the puzzle there. That laser receptor takes care of the big fizzler in the middle of the room. And our exit is up there. However, there's quite a bit of science going on over there. So we'll get to that at some point. A little bit of a ramp here. These are the ramps that Shell just, just plain refuses to go up. Probably due to dietary issues. And that looks like connected to you. Some of those aperture concealed convenience steps. So to get you on laser into you and then i guess to get to the rest of the science probably probably around the large science corner yeah there appears to be a large science corner there so just get you illuminated for the moment uh to do that then it will be done via portals because there's a fizzler in the way but the map's called toggle right which suggests at some point we're gonna have to flip around what we're actually thinking to make what we're thinking actually be the thing that we want to be thinking uh this is gonna put the fizzler back on isn't it yes yeah, so i can't leave a portal on you but we need to have you illuminated first or you illuminated first or activated would be more accurate although they do light up ever so slightly some of them play music i don't think these ones do um so let's have you come over to that side which now thinking about it and toggling into a more sort of logical mode is going to do the exact same as blocking you right so uh steps first well not much point in having the steps first let's have you come out of the way of there which means we're also going to need this one out of the way over here as well so that we can activate that and turn off the fizzler get shoved along slightly by you that would let me leave a portal on this panel but then when we move this one over, it goes... No, it's behind mesh now, so that's not much use. Uh, we want it... Not there. We want it not there, we want it over here. It going over here means that we can go through this way. It blocks that, but the fizzler comes back on. We could use the portal to get back to this side. And I suppose if I actually line that up a little bit better, like actually in the middle where the laser receptor is... We could toggle you back over to this side. Which lets us put the blue on you. Gets rid of that again. Ah, then go ahead and move you over to this side again. Like so. Move the orange onto you. And we get some of those aperture convealed convenience stairs. Wait, are you making music? No, you're just doing that subtle electric hum. Um, right, so that's probably the tutorial phase, right? Since I've been over in that side of the room also appears to involve a sort of double panel sliding setup. So everybody remember what we did here and feel free to yell it in a few moments. There's a button up here. This button. This button does the exit. An exit that we're nowhere near using. And that is all that's up here, apart from a big piece of Aperture Inconvenience Mesh. Which is rather inconvenient, because I guess that's the way we want to go. Um, so yeah, Cube goes here. It's a bit of classic design-wise that you can see the exit. And what you need immediately as you come in. 
There is a bunch of panels along the wall up there. They're literally the only option, so let's go ahead and leave a portal up there. Move you over here to get that aperture inconvenience mesh out of the way. Uh, then we can actually go over to the other side. The other side of the mesh. Is it a similar setup? Square here this time. More aperture inconvenience. No, aperture convenience. Concealed steps. It doesn't help that I forget how to do my own jokes half the time. Uh, this one is also... No, that's not for the steps this time. That is for a cube delivery tube of the non-respawning variety up on the ceiling. And these are, again, just moving panels again with meshes in place. Um, you. What do you do this time? You are also a fizzler in the middle of the room. So yeah, it's going to be a similar sort of thing that we were taught over that side. Plus cube. We're going to need the cube back at the exit. You are also just a sliding panel. Again, accidentally solving a part of the puzzle for us. And what's up here? Up here, up here is that square. A button stuck again behind a large piece of aperture inconvenience mesh. And a single panel over this side. And I just noticed the quite nice little bit of detailing of recessed lighting around the place. Uh, just a nice little hint to add to uh, what you can actually do with classic portal design. I know lately, especially lately, I've been tending to sort of not do these look of portal maps because, well, I like the sexy thumbnails that you can make with hammer maps, if I'm completely honest. They get a lot more clicks compared to, well, blue tone paneling. Um, I want a cube, right? Yeah, let's get a cube. Uh, let's get a cube. You're not meshed off there, so let's leave portal on you there to line up with cube delivery laser receptor. Shift you back over to this side and put the orange on you here should deliver a cube like so cube comes over here uh we need the cube for the exit but we we're gonna have to use uh the stairs first right because once again shell won't lift up her feet for some reason and get up this tiny little ledge that any normal human being would quite happily scale given the fact that this place wants to kill you but that's not the theme of the puzzle, so yes, we need the Aperture Concealed Convenience Stairs. Um, so you probably got to go up there, right? I mean, that's where the button to do those stairs is, so let's get you up into this little compartment up here. That would explain the panel on the wall here for convenience purposes. I need to use the word convenience and inconvenience a hell of a lot less. That's, that's turning into quite the crutch. Uh, let's put you on here just realized I managed to actually say crutch and not crotch. Uh, that's a mistake I quite often make as well. Um, so stairs. We now have a set of stairs there. So leave the orange in there. Doesn't help. Got to go through a fizzler. Plus there's nothing actually over this side to get into there. There is if we use you. There isn't anything else up here that I missed. No, it's literally just these panels up along the wall. So there's going to be like a toggling, toggling, that's the name of the map. I meant to say a, um, what did I mean to say? Pocketing, pocketing type manoeuvre where the cube's got to go somewhere to not go somewhere to eventually go somewhere. Um, so yeah, just get the cube up there now, right? So, ah, well, I can't bring the cube past because we'd have to have the stairs. The cube has to be on that button for the stairs. I think I found the tricky part of the puzzle now. Uh, so the cube's going to have to stay on the button to give us the stairs to be able to get out of this second room type space. But we have to be able to move the cube to get it past the stairs. Is there any way I can leave this fizzler out of the way? So let's move you opens that up then we don't need portals for the fizzler to be out the way and you don't have a mesh here so let's put that on there this is just gonna let me get the cube right and get the cube that's that's actually not difficult at all but then don't have the stairs no so that's more complicated than I thought it was gonna be um no stairs with you off of there, right? They definitely go away. They are non-permanent stairs. 
I could be an asshole and see if Shell can actually climb over this gap by putting you... Ah, oh, no. Okay, never mind. Asshole reverted. Uh, let's put you back on the one button you're actually going to do something on then. So you sit there. Right, uh... Yeah. I've reached the puzzle portion. Um, so it can't be anything to do with the cube coming off of that button for now. Until we're actually back up over that side of the mesh. So we have to be able to fetch the cube from over there, which means we need a portal that side and portal in cube compartment over there, but I can't do that. So to do that, other things have to be done first, and those are the things that are going to probably make this video quite long. Um, is it to do with the other room? Maybe it's to do with the other room still being used? Because that would technically give us another laser, but we'd have to be able to still get back there. But then if we're going back and forth from that side, we could be this side with the fizzler back in place. So what could we do if we went back over there then? Let's leave the blue where it is, put the orange up on you. What would we actually need to do though? The cube's always going to be up in this awkward little corner where you can only get to it via one portal and you clearly can't put a portal in there from anywhere else at all. Uh, that's going to block that off, put the fizzler back on. I don't really want the fizzler back on. Fizzlers on in this map seem to be just a hassle more than anything, they're always in the way. So I guess we could maybe respawn the cube from over that side of the world? What respawns the cube? Respawning the cube is you. So I'd have to leave a portal on you and the only other laser is in like the exact same place over that side. So it'd have to be that laser to respawn the cube whilst we're that side of the map. So we've actually got to like toggle four ways instead of just the toggle we did here. We're going to have to do a toggle that involves all of that as well. Actually, toggle back to using the first half of the room. So that wasn't just a introduction. It was an introduction plus a reuse me. Um, so I got orange up there. My only way through... I suppose we could go through this one, right? If we leave the orange up where it is, because aren't we going to need... No, we're going to need that side to actually be able to get the cube back anyway so I'm thinking the only thing I can really do is try and get the cube that side before anything else and then get the steps back uh, let's get over here then to respawn the cube over here I can't because that's still in the way Unless it's another toggle on top of everything again? Because that would lose my one way through, right? If I go through the fizzler now. So are you meshed off here? You're not meshed here. Let's put orange on you. Go back to this side. This side is currently fizzlerless. And I guess I want to get rid of that fizzler now. So what if we move this panel over that side, put blue on it should get rid of that fizzler brings this one back but that one goes away do these lasers burn these lasers do not burn which is either purely a nice nice convenience kind of thing or we are supposed to go back and forth uh, so then in that case that one's back on over that side we could come over to this panel here I'd have to move you or we lose access to the other side. That's going to be the thing that messes me up now, is I'm going to accidentally move what portal lets me get back. Um, so if I got blue over there now, I move you out the way over here. 
Now, if I move that one as well, it'll still keep this fizzler out the way. I don't want that. I want the other side. The other side's literally sort of the opposite. No, it's not. The cube delivery is uh, in the corner there. So it has to be that panel to be able to get a new cube. So I need to... I guess if we go move you again, that gets rid of that fizzler as well. So let's uh, let's do that. What's over in there? That's blue. Let's put orange on you here. Let's move this panel out the way. Gets that one behind inconvenient meshing. But I actually need that one, don't I? I need this panel here with the blue to be able to get back into here, uh, to be able to get back into the other side. And if I'm back in this side, it's very easy to lose track of which side is which. Don't want to move you. You've got to stay where you are. No, you're going to have to move, right? Because we're going to need to have you actually have a laser again. So this should give me a new cube. Like so. And then I have to untoggle all of that. If we move you back over. Uh, this fizzler is back on. I think I'm going to have to deal with that once I got the cube. So that lets me get back over to that side and we can bring the cube through to the first room. From the first room, go get cube. Everything should stay without a fizzler in the middle of the room. And then you can come sit over here, but then we got the fizzler here. But then all I have to do is get the fizzler out the way. To do that, we're going to have to basically do what we did right at the start, right? Which was a while ago and therefore forgotten. Um, get that one out the way. Gets the fizzler out the way. That's it, right? Don't need portals, hopefully. Let's move you. Fizzler goes away. Cube can come to the safe side of the Fizzler. Uh, can't do anything with it yet because we've got to do the original combination of things. So you sit there somewhere. Uh, then try and remember how I did any of this. Let's put a portal on you for the sake of being able to get back again. Like that. Uh, then this one is the stairs that I need. So... That's no good. Wait, how did I do this? You're going to have to come. This will take you out of the mesh. So you come over to this side. And we put the orange on you. Which then toggling you back over again and putting the blue back on you does the exact same thing because quantum tunneling mechanics... Uh, then we need the steps, right? So it's just move you over, put the orange on you, and that should actually, potentially, possibly, hopefully be it, right? Blue's on you. Orange on that one. Aperture convenience steps activated, and that's... that's actually it. Yeah, okay, that is some clever, as the title would suggest, toggling, and a hell of a lot of reusing of the exact same things in... Basically the exact same way. Yeah, that's actually a really solid, clever little puzzle design. Uh, that was Toggle, created by Oblivious Owl and recommended by Matt Chu. So a very, a very big thank you to the both of them. That was, um, yeah, actually really quite satisfying. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.